So now we have a triangular prism. Now it's okay guys, I don't have a problem with you using a rectangle as the base. But typically when we're looking at a, ba when we're looking at a prism, a base or a prism has the same base as it does the top. So when I'm looking at a triangle of prism and it's written like this, a lot of times what I like to do, Guillermo, is go ahead and write it so it looks like this. Right. So I like to be able to draw it so it looks like this, where now you guys can see that the base is in the shape of a triangle and the top is in the form of a triangle. And therefore, oh, shoot, I forgot to give you guys the dimensions. Sorry about that. Are these two different triangles? No, they are the exact same triangle. All right, so sorry, I forgot to label uh, the dimensions of this triangle. Um, so you can see that the height of the triangle is four. Half of the triangle's length is three. That means the total length is going to be six. And then this length is 10, all right? Now to identify, the, to find the surface area of a triangle, we obviously need to find the area of the triangle, right? So to find the base, which would be the first thing, so our surface area, we need to find the base, but luckily for the base, we need to multiply it by, by 2, right? So it's going to be 2 times 1 half base times height. There's two bases that are triangles, here and here, right? Um, however, the formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height. Well, what is 2 times 1 half? Wow. That's just going to there. So we just need to figure out what is base times height. You need that long side, right? So what we're looking at, again, is just finding the area of the base for the triangle. There's two of them, on the bottom and on the top. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Well, there's two of them. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So now I just need to figure out what is the base times height, which will give me the area of both, uh, including for both of those triangles. So the area for both of those triangles is going to be base, which is 6, times height. So it would be 4 times 6. All right, so now the next thing that we need to go and do is find the sides for all the rest of the, um, for all the sides. Now you can label them front, right, back, whatever you'd like to. Yes? How do you cross out 2? Okay, I didn't cross. What's 2 times 1 half? 2 times 1 half is 1. 1. So they just went to 1, so that's why I went to there. If you guys want to write them all in, I don't have a problem with that. 2 times 1 half times 4 times 6. You're still going to get the exact same. You're still going to get 24, right? Now, we have three other sides for a triangular prism. We can label, let's call this the back side, right? And now, remember, the, the, the rest of the sides are all rectangles, so they're going to be base times height. So the back side is 3 times 10. Plus, let's call the right side. That, again, would be this side, which will be 3 times an uh-oh. I don't know that length, right? But I know I have a triangle, a right triangle, and I have two legs. I can easily figure out the third side. So I do 4 squared plus 3 squared equals, let's call that c squared. Well, you could also identify this as a Pythagorean triple, and c equals 5. So therefore, I'm going to have 5 times 10. And then we look at the left side plus, which is going to be, again, 5 times 10, right? Mm -hmm. I applied the Pythagorean theorem. I didn't actually solve it because you guys should know that this is what we call a Pythagorean triple. When you have a leg, that's 3, a leg, that's 4. No, it is. 16 plus 9 equals c squared. 25 equals c squared. Square root, square root. 5 equals c. I was using the Pythagorean triple rule rather than actually doing the Pythagorean theorem. Keith, I'm going to ask that you don't have that. It's something we've already talked about, so we're not going to worry about it. 
Um, now we need to go and figure out the area. So here, 4 times 6 equals 24, plus 30, plus 50, plus 50, equals 154. Got that? Dustin, does that make sense? And make sure, guys, let's say this is in feet. Make sure when you're dealing with the area, this is in feet squared. Do not forget about the dimensions, okay?